I will sound different to you today because I'm in a different body and a different situation. But yet what I say will still be listenable. <laughs> Welcome. Who, who do we have the pleasure of speaking with? I am Cryon. Welcome, Cryon. Greetings, greetings, Cryon. Are you the same Cryon that comes to me to take care of? I am the similar aspect to that. But it is not fair to say that I am exactly the same because we can only bring in that aspect that is able to come in. Lee can bring in one aspect of me, and this person can bring in another. So therefore, even though the Im information will be similar, it will be unique. Are there questions? I, uh, I just wanted to say hello there, my friend. This is Brian. Brian. Hello. Much much love and appreciation for being here in your presence. Thank you. One thing I would like to say right at the top. I mean no disrespect to the Carol. For me being here, I am not saying that he is not my prime channel. But there were some things that needed to be said that are not being said at this moment. And the energies of this time are directing me to come to you in this fashion. Also, I will say that I do not think he will mind because he is a wonderful and amazing and forgiving and loving individual. Therefore, I know him well. And this aspect is slightly different in, an, in some ways anyway. But Ask your questions, please. Yes, I need Carl, to I'd like only to give. I'd like to address that um, Lee and yourself has also been encouraging other people to channel yourself to come through. So it's very I, it's a great pleasure for you to come through today. Thank you. I am, I am only wanting to be respectful. Do you have a, do you, do you have a message? So much. Do you have a message since you were saying that there were some things that weren't being addressed by uh, the, the, yes. cryo, the cryo and channel yes. from Link? Yes. The balance of the energies for now, which are very important and were spoken to you today by Tukur. Let me understand that you can intend to bring everything into a meditation. As Will has spoken, all things can become part of your meditation. You do not have to stop what you are doing to enter into thanksgiving or grace or understanding of what is happening and therefore 24 hours a day you may enter into your giving to Mother Earth and to Spirit. Gratification at this time is so powerful and at all times is so powerful and this will help you to balance your energies. This will help you your joy factor to be correct. There are some forms of joy that are out of balance. Do you understand that? There's joy that's uncontrollable. Some of you have felt that. This is not a time for that. This is a time for connecting in a very normal and energetic way. Be who you are. And she said, do not polarize. And that is important. Because we want to all connect together in the same kind of energy. 
how are you to connect together if one of you are way up here and one of you are way down here? The middle portion at this time is what is necessary. Now, that does not always resonate with everyone. But in this time of energy change, I want you to be aware that that is the perfect place to be to connect with your personalities, with your own energies, with the energies of others, with all that that there is coming. And be joyous for one another. And if you do see that someone is either up or down, bring them into your normality. Bring them into your positivity. And balance them out. Balance them. Just intend for them to be balanced. And guess what? They will see your intention. Their soul will know at this time because this energy connects the souls one to another in a greater way than ever before. It's a beautiful thing. Ask me some questions. Thank you very much, Cryon. Thank you for, for those wise words. This is exactly what we're going to do on the Equinox on Wednesday. So... If anyone wants to join that webinar, we will show visualizations, exercises to stay, to be in the middle zone, to bring people to the positivity of balance. There will be many spiritual so thank encounters you, during this period. There will be many spiritual encounters during this time as well. Many angels will come. Many entities will come. The Christ energy will be strong. The Christ energy will be strong. Dear one, I have a question. It's, it's quite a personal one to share with you. Yes. My name is Rowie. Um, I know you're aware of me because we have connected in the past. Yes. Um, two months we ago have. we had a very, very strong connection. Um, and it was it was so powerful. It really was. I just want to not confirm it or validate it, but why was that connection made at that time? Because you had to have the energy for this time. Your now at that time is was projected into this one and projected into the future very, very, very far. And you need this energy at this time as it projects out into the future to validate all that you are doing and to bring all that into your nows. It's all coming together. Do you understand what I'm saying? Yeah, I do. Yeah, I get it. I got the messages quite clearly when I was interacting with you. Um, the only issue I did sort of have of this was speaking for you, and that is something I still would like to get a clarification on. That is not to be worried about. Do not concern yourself with that because that will happen in due time. Mm -hmm. You okay. understand that worry and doubt will not help it. It will happen at the necessary time. And that time is coming. And that's what, why the connection was strong. We projected together through, out through your future to see what was happening and to connect with that future in a strong way so that you do not lose your way and you do not let those shadow energies come between you and what is to be in your future and for our connection as well let those things fall away those doubts those fears those angers that don't belong there just let them melt away because your future is much more bright your connections with your current partner is your always partner I should say but she will be evolving as well very quickly 
<laughs> yeah, thank you for that. I want to make that brief and allow others to interact. Thank you, Brian. Did you understand what I said? Did it make sense to you? I, I felt what you said, and it makes total sense. Thank you. Thank you, Carl. Excellent, because it's important that you believe it and do not doubt. Oh, I didn't doubt it. No way. No way. It was just, you know, it's, it's a big thing. It's a big thing to address when someone you make a connection like that and somebody else is channeling and you don't want to be treading on toes or whatever. So I understand more about how that's going to work now. Thank you so much, dear one. I'm feeling the Who is next? I'm feeling the energies in the room. There is healing going on here. There is healing happening in this room. And why is that? Not because of me, but because of the changing energies and the connection between you. You heal each other. You extend that love to each other and feel that even out in there, out there where you are, there's healing taking place and not because of anything that I'm saying or doing, but because of your valid and strong beginning connections with this energy change. This is Mother Gaia's way of saying, yes, come with me. Can you feel that? The energies here are healing you emotionally, some of you physically, some of you mentally, ah, some of you in all ways. The balance is coming. The balance is what you make it, and you, and this will be extended out to all who hear me and watch later today or tomorrow or in the future, the balance will hit them, will become part of who they are, if only for a short period of time, but I hope it lasts. But while they are watching this, it, they will not be able to not be balanced. Spirit is here to balance. Spirit is here to heal. And heal he will do. And on the Mount Shasta, there will be miracles. Miracles. Thank you, Cryon. Does that not put a chill in your bones? Does that not give you goosebumps? It does. But right now they are giving me that word. Yes. There's much Absolutely. healing going on. What other questions do you have? I have seen them. Have? I have seen them. You have seen them, I have no doubt. <laughs> um, I have one. Yes. I just Takara had mentioned that the, the dark ones or the dark energies will still be on the new earth once it starts splitting and um, I thought the frequencies were going to be too high uh, when when the earth splits and we have the new DNA out for the I thought the frequencies would be too high for them to be able to be there. Is that not so? You must realize that all things are possible. And if, if all things are possible, then negative energies can still exist in high vibrations. However, that is only by the will of what God wants for humanity. And what he wants for humanity is the greatest appreciation of life. Without some darkness, there is no great appreciation. Now, much darkness will leave. But he still wants you to be appreciative. So you will see what happens. Let yourself experience it the way that you are supposed to. Do not doubt. And if you believe, if you want a creative world without this negativity, far be it from me to stop you. 
Do you understand that? Yeah, I, I agree with you. I think what Sandy's getting at is a little different than what you're saying, that the dark is there to always balance out the light, so we always have dark, even the very high level of dimensions. It's a catalyst for the light, for yes. motivation. Is that what you're speaking of? Yes, that is what I'm speaking of. Did it not answer your question? Frequencies can be blocked. Frequencies being very high still can be blocked by those that wish to block. They have free will sometimes, and they have technology that can block out certain frequencies. So don't be surprised if they still exist because all things are possible. But create your world in the way that you want this high negativity that's going to create all these issues. It's to balance the light. Am I correct? Even the very higher dimensions, there's still a polarity correct. of some sort. But, but remember, humanity brings in negativity sometimes. And if they bring it in, you see, the vibration of humanity will rise. But there will always be those that will polarize it or, or bring themselves to a place of doubt. I'm sure some of you understand that. How many times do you doubt and fear when you know you shouldn't? You doubt and fear when you know you shouldn't, but then you bring in that negativity to yourself instead of letting it go. That's all I can say about that. Let it Greetings. go. Oh, Greetings. Sorry, thought, Who am I speaking to? This is Guru Dan. How are you? I am well. I have a message from a member, from member Noha. She says, please send my love and hugs to dear cry on. She sends love to you. Thank you. And return those blessings a hundredfold. Wonderful. I have a question from our, our, our friend uh, Wendy. She says, what is her connection to the magnetic service as she feels deeply moved by this energy? You have many connections. You're connected everywhere. Wendy, whatever anything happens in the energetic field, you connect to it because you are exhilarated by all the different energies. Now, don't be surprised by that. You're just a conductor. And that is all well and good. And so do not be puzzled by it. Just accept it and bring in whatever positive energy you can with it. I have uh, one question from member Michelle. She'd like to know if there's any uh, higher, higher information uh, for her that uh, could be offered at this time. She is in a time of seeking, and for a good while there was no energy or no insights coming. But now it seems to, that the floodgates are opening for her, and many things are opening her eyes. Many things are coming and rushing in at this time. Higher information will be coming, but, but let me tell you this right now. Bring in that which is already there because there's a, a lot for you to feed on at this time. Make sure you understand it fully before we can bring in more. Understand all, this and all these enlightened thoughts that are coming to you and you're swimming in them. You're swimming in them. And make sure that you bring them all into you before you can have more. That's all the uh, member questions uh, at this moment. That is Thank good because so I am. I there is someone else coming as well. Okay. Thank you. I will let you go for now, and thank you for your attention. Thank you, Cryon. Can yes. you share a blessing before you go? Of course.
Let me breathe in the Spirit. Carry on what message He would like me to speak to you. Yes. There are many gates right before you. Many of you see that the energy is here. Many of you see that all you need to do is walk through the gate, but you're afraid. The energies will pull on you to come. Obey them. Resonate with them. Love yourself enough to let yourself be who you are and let yourself go. Do not be bound by social issues. Do not be bound by molds that you can't possibly fit into. I know that this has been spoken of by many in the last few days. But the heart is a free spirit. The soul is of free will. There are many of you trapped and you don't know how to get out. The way out is through thankfulness. Thank God you don't have to be trapped anymore. The blessing on you is this. Breathe in spirit. The love, the goodness, the kindness, the wisdom, the understanding, the thoughtfulness, the energy, the spirituality, the facets that you can believe of spirit. There are other facets that you just cannot believe yet, but they are there. But breathe them in. Breathe in the understanding that you are loved. Breathe in the understanding that you are important. Breathe in the understanding that this is not an ending, but a very big beginning. A new age, a new energy, a new kind of healing. Your energies for healing will become stronger. Your energies for understanding healing will become stronger and therefore encourage greater healing. Your understanding about who you are in a third dimensional creation world will become important because this is who and how you are to proceed in reaching the next level. You can't reach it without going up the steps. You can't reach the highest levels without moving step by step. You can't just jump up there. So do not be discouraged by the fact that you can't jump a hundred yards and grab onto the next level. Move at your own spiritual speed. Move in the way that you see is possible. For those are the lights that are the brightest before you. The path will be illuminated, but it won't be illuminated up to the stars, but as far as you need to go for the next few days, for the next few months, for the next few years. Light will be shed as it's needed, and you will shed light on other people's paths as well. You will not shed light only on your own path, but you will let others shine on your path because they influence where you're going in the future. And you will shine your bright light on theirs as well. Work as a team. Be who you are. Understand that you are a God, creation. Understand that the creation in you is the soul of God, a smart piece of that 
that he gave you so that you can be a creator, an understander, someone that can move forward and are not limited by the things that people push on you. They can be as great as they want to be, but they choose to push you down so they can look great. Do you understand that? They want to be great too. They're not using their God soul to do it. They're using their negativity to make themselves look greater and you look smaller. And for some that works, but for me it doesn't. It does not work because you are greater than what anyone can see. You have your understanding of who you are in a greater way than anybody can possibly see. No one can see what you can see about yourself. No one can go behind those doors of secrecy and things that you hide from the world. But you know what? They're powerful too because they shape who you are. And if you let them shape you in a positive way, you will become the truth that you are. You are truth. Every one of you is truth. Truth, truth, truth. Shape it into something that can be used by everyone. Your truth can be seen by everyone. If you are who you are to be. Much love. Much love, Cryon. Sorry for the Thank sermon. you so much for those words. Sometimes this, the spirit inside of this being is preachy. And that comes out. That comes out. But he, he does it in a way that is connected. So that's fine. But you, you understand that all spirits that come here and be beings are affected by his spirit and who he is as a higher self and who he is to be in this world. So therefore, things move into a spiritual realm rather easily. So therefore, that I, I do not usually speak like that. But I'm thankful to you have spoken. And Let's we're thankful on. for you to come and speak to us as well. Thank you so much. Namaste. <laughs> okay. There is one Namaste. more that must speak. Namaste, Ryan. On Thank you so much for joining day. us today, Ryan. Thank you. There is one more coming. Wow, that was simply amazing. <laughs> I'm so honored to have Cryon come join us today. <laughs>